Welcome back. In this video, we're going to solve equations in quadratic form using what we call U substitution. In this sample problem one here, instead of foiling all of this out and then rewriting it and getting into quadratic, you know, into a standard form of a quadratic, we're going to let substitution, U substitution, and have that do some of the work for us. Okay, and you'll be using U substitution for this and many other things as you move on in, in calculus and beyond. What we're going to do here, instead of s foiling all this out, we're going to substitute a different value for x plus 3 to make it easier to factor. Okay, and we'll generally use the, the linear term in our samples to be our U. So in this case, we're going to let u equal x plus 3. And I'm going to rewrite this in a standard form right away too with my u. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides right away. So we get 5u squared plus 9u minus 2 equals 0. So we've got a quadratic here that is relatively easy to factor. So we need factors of negative 10 that add to 9 we do our factor by grouping, and um, 10 and negative 1 will do that for us. So our factor by grouping gives us 5u squared minus 1u plus 10u minus 2 equals 0. So we've really just split that, and then we do our factor by grouping. So we'll group our first pair and group our second pair. We factor out a u out of the left side here, and we're left with u times uh, 5u minus 1. And so we've got to have 5u minus 1 left behind, so we factor out our 2. And we're left with 5u minus 1. And our factors are u plus 2 times 5u minus 1 equals 0. We solve for u, and we get u equals negative 2, u equals positive 1 fifth. But now remember, we don't want to solve for u. We are solving for x. So remember, u is x plus 3. So we have to bring this back down and resurrect our x plus 3, so we get x plus 3 equals negative 2. And x plus 3, it's not a very good x, equals 1 fifth. We want to solve for x, so we have to subtract 3 from both sides. And we get x equals negative 5. And we have to subtract 3 from both sides again. So I'm going to subtract 15 fifths, so I have a common denominator. And we get x equals uh, negative 14 fifths. Okay, so those are our two solutions. And we successfully navigated u substitution in that first sample problem. Second sample problem, a little bit more challenging because we've got these, these fractional exponents. So this looks like it could be a little bit more difficult. But again, following our rule of thumb, we're going to let u equal uh, work with our linear term here. So let's let u equal x to the 1 third. That's going to work out well for us because x to the 2 thirds here, if u is x to the 1 third, uh, we just get 2u squared and then minus 11u plus 12 equals 0. So we go ahead and factor that, factor our grouping, factor by grouping, factors of positive 24 that add up to a negative 11 are going to be negative 8 u, negative 3 u. So I'm going to write that as plus a minus 3 u. Bring down our plus 12. Bring down our 2 u squared. That's still equal to 0. We do our factor by grouping. 
go ahead and change my pen color here. So we group it and we take out our greatest common factor. It looks like we have a greatest common factor of 2u here. So we take 2u out and we get u minus 4. So we need u minus 4 left behind. We factor out a negative 3 and we get u minus 4. So we're in really good shape here. So our factors are 2u minus 3 and u minus 4. It's all equal to 0. So when we get our values for u, then we get u equals positive 3 halves and u equals 4. But remember, u is x to the 1 third. We have to rewrite this, x to the 1 third equals 3 halves. And x to the 1 third equals 4. Well, we don't want x to the 1 third, we want x. That's our goal here, we're trying to solve for x. We will have to cube both sides. So if I cube each side, and show that work, raise that to the third power, we get x equals, and 3 cubed is uh, 27 and 2 cubed is 8, so x is 27 eighths, and we'll cube both sides here to get x, and we get x equals 4 cubed, or 64. So, sample problem 2. Sample problem 3, we're going to do u substitution again. Uh, we have a higher exponent here, we don't have x squared, we have x to the sixth, so let's take a look at this. Let's write this into standard form. So 4x to the 6th minus 5x cubed plus 1 equals 0. As we've done before, we're going to let u equal x cubed. So we're going to use that linear term, if you will, and let u equal x cubed. We do our u substitution, uh, right, x cubed squared is x to the sixth. So we can just make this 4u squared minus 5u plus 1 equals 0. And that one's relatively easy to factor. 4u minus 1 times u minus 1. We've actually done that one before. I think that was an earlier problem, so I'm just going to copy that and not do the factor by grouping. And we get u equals 1 fourth and u equals 1. Remember, u is x cubed. x cubed equals 1, but we don't want x cubed. We want x. So now we have to take the cube root of both sides. So I'm going to cube root each side. Well, fortunately, the 1 is easy. The cube root of x cubed is x. The cube root of 1 is 1, so that one works out pretty nicely. u equals 1 fourth, that one's going to be a little bit more difficult. x cubed equals 1 fourth. And on that one, we will go ahead and we will cube root both sides, just like we did. Okay, so we get x equals the cube root of 1 fourth. We get 1 over the cube root of 4. Well, that is irrational. So we don't want any cube roots in the denominator. We want this to become a perfect cube. Our nearest perfect cube is eight. So there's a couple ways to look at this. We can look at this as one over the cube root of two squared. So we need that to become two cubed. We rationalize it by multiplying by the cube root of two over the cube root of Two. So now our denominator is the cube root of 2 cubed, or the cube root of 8. So we have the cube root of 2 over the cube root of 2 cubed, and those offset each other. So our final value for x here is x becomes the cube root of 2 all over 2. So a little bit of a review of rationalizing, denominators, some factoring in there, and of course, using u substitution to solve quadratics. And with that, I will see you in class.